If you have Office 365, Office 2019, or Office 2016 that's up to date, then you can use this morph option and morph transition, and I'll do a little demonstration. So as you can see here, I've got a slide that has the word morph in it. I'm going to right click on it and choose copy, and I'm going to paste it a couple of times. So we have the same slide three times. So what I'm gonna do is on the second slide, I'm going to slide that over to the left hand side and I'm going to take the third slide and I'm going to slide that over to the right hand side. So move that over there. There we go. Now I'm going to select all three by holding down the control key or the shift key and clicking and uh, I've selected all three of these slides. So I'm going to go to the transitions tab at the top and choose morph. All right, let's see what this looks like. Go ahead and go to Slideshow from the beginning, and we'll watch what happens. So I'm going to hit the uh, Advanced key. Oh, we see it slides to the left. We see it slides to the right. So this morph is pretty cool. Let's do another demonstration just so you get a better idea how to do this. Now we have a runner who's in starting position, middle position here, and to the right running off the screen. I also have a Rhino, and I, this is a 3D option, so um, I'll show you that in a little bit. But let's just go ahead and see what this runner does. We'll go from the beginning, and we'll see from there to there. So this is the difference between the 2016 version and the 2019 version. The 2016 version, as you can see, sort of slid from one to the other. But the, uh, the, 20, the 2019 version does that. But the 2016 version doesn't do that. It just sort of disappears and reappears. So the 2019 version has a little better feature than the 2016 does. So if you can't upgrade, that's great. If you're Office 365, you just need to be on version uh, 1808 or better. Uh, so if you go to the File menu and you go to Account, you can see the version that you're on. So this is 1803, so you need to be at least on 1808 to get the, uh, the better morph version. All right, so what I did here was I inserted a Rhino using Insert, and I did 3D models from online sources. So I chose uh, animals, and then I chose to insert uh, the rhinoceros. Okay, so let me show you what happens here. This is pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and go uh, scroll down a little bit. So what I did was I just used the 3D, and I just turned the rhinoceros different angles. That's the same picture, just turned in 3D. So if you're wondering how you do that, after you insert it, you can move it left and right like that. All right, so I'll try to bring it back to the original position. Now I'm going to go and choose the slideshow from the current slide. And it looks like when we hit the advance that we're doing an animation. So it's kind of cool. You don't click it too fast or it gets jerky. Just do it slow like that. So when you go through the actual slideshow itself, as long as you click it slowly, it'll look like your rhino is posing for you. So that is how you use the morph feature and the difference between 2016 and 2019 in PowerPoint.